Well, hello darlings. This is very, very exciting because it's the first of what is going to be many home themed videos here on my channel. So by now you will know that we are decorating our beautiful one bed place in Chiswick as part of our transition of moving out of London. So we're going to be keeping this property. It was originally intended as a kind of office space, but will now be our London pad because we are selling our place in Clapham and moving out, out to the countryside. But this is really phase one of the project here in Chiswick. I have shown you what this place looked like before decoration even began in previous vlogs, so I'll leave that linked up on the screen here. It's currently the middle of February, it's probably going to be a little while until you see this vlog because I want it to be a real um, progress video showing you various parts of the decoration and the furnishing, but I thought now would be a really good time to show you where we are at so far before things get painted and the transformation really begins. So I'm starting out in the living room. This is the room which is the biggest. Um, it's a ground floor flat and this will have obviously the sofa, the TV, the kitchen is just there as well. So this is gonna be where we're gonna be spending a lot of time. We're getting it completely painted. And as you might be able to tell, we are getting paneling put on one of the walls. Paneling is just something which, yes, we're gonna have a lot of in our Cotswold house, um, but we just love how it looks. And we thought we'd make this very modern flat look a little bit more traditional with the panelling. So the room hasn't been painted at all, um, but we have had individual bespoke wooden panels put in and this wall is going to be painted a really beautiful colour. We've got some paints from Crown Paint, which I'll show you in a second, um, and it's just going to be the most beautiful, almost sage green. We have got a couple of really big lights in the ceiling. There was a lot of damp around here, so they've already repaired all of that. As you can tell, the wall lights and the radiator are both pretty ugly, so actually when I get home this afternoon, I'm going to look online and see if I can find some alternatives and order those as quickly as possible so that they can get installed before the painters need to attack this wall. And the same over here, this radiator is just so uh, unattractive, let's say, and we obviously want the wall lights to be in the center of the panels where you can see the pencil mark, so I'm going to try and find some really attractive looking wall lights so that we can move that across and make it central like this one. The kitchen in this place, very messy at the moment, obviously it's a bit of a building site. This is going to be phase two, we're not really at a stage of doing anything to the kitchen just yet other than painting, but I am speaking to a few different kitchen companies and seeing what we can do for our budget which is not ginormous for this place so hopefully throughout this video I'll give you some tips on how you can make somewhere look a lot more beautiful without spending a fortune. The painter is in the bedroom but let me show you the process in that room so far. Something else that I want to do is replace these. It could end up being quite expensive because there's quite a lot of sockets um, and you know I'm not sure what they're called but electricity TV units throughout the property so I'm gonna just go around and add up exactly how many we've got because I feel like this silver is quite modern whereas we want this wall to be a little bit more traditional in style. <laughs> So we are back at the gatehouse about two weeks after I last spoke to you and quite a lot has changed. I've actually not been back um, since I last filmed, so quite a lot has changed. But Charlie's been here a couple of times and mum has been here a couple of times. Chai and I have been to some Maldives since I last came here. Um, but the decorator, he has been amazing. He's been here um, like seeing lots of deliveries coming in and mum's been here when the electrician has been here. We organized that through Fantastic Services. So that was great. But the plumber we've not had quite as much luck with. He's now gonna be coming back for the fourth time all to do the same job. So nothing is straightforward. But anyway, let me show you where we are at at the moment. Okay, so obviously the panelling has been painted. I'm pretty sure this is the shade. In fact, I think this is it down here. Yeah, so this is Palladian from the period collection from Crown and I really, really like the, the colour of this, how it looks. You can see it a little bit more clearly in the daylight here. So we are swapping the old silver sockets for antique brass ones. Um, these don't look straight to me, so I am going to have to get him to redo those, very odd. And then as you can see with the new light fittings where the 
up light as well. Obviously the decorator is gonna have to go in again and paint that bit behind. And then these are gonna have some amazing glass, kind of like glass spheres over the top. I think they will look spectacular. Those I ordered from Wayfair. Wayfair has been an absolute dream. I ordered so many bits from there and everything arrives next day delivery. So I can't wait to show you those when they're done. And as you can see, there was an up lighter that was pushed to the side here. So the decorator again is gonna have to fill in this hole and paint that area. These brass looking radiators I ordered from, I think it was a website called bestheating.co.uk and they arrived really quickly as well. But as you might be able to see from this angle, you can see there's like a hole in the wall where the pipes are coming out. So I think we're going to have to again get the decorator to fill that in and the plumber needs to chase the pipes through the wall. There are so many things you don't think about until you are at this stage of a property renovation. So here in the wardrobe area of the bedroom, this is one of the lights completed. You can see that it's got this lovely glass bulb area. Um, so these are the ones that I got from Wayfair. Again, the decorator is gonna have to come and correct the area where the uplighter was. We've got a slightly pinky um, color on the main walls, but just quite a creamy pink, and then a white on the ceiling and on all the frames. And he's also painted the wardrobe doors white. Remember, they used to be brown before. This is an antique room divider that we picked up from um, the old cinema antique shop on Chiswick High Street. That's gonna go to the new house when we finally move in. Uh, lots of furniture here. Again, a humongous Wayfair order. This is a part of the bed by the looks of it. Can't wait to get that set up. We've got the mattress over here. And then this is the beautiful statement wall in the bedroom. These two lights you can see up here. Again, I ordered from Wayfair. Really, really happy with those. Again, these two colors are both crown paint as well. The light switches are going to be replaced with the antique brass ones when the electrician comes back, as are things like the fuse boxes. Oh no, that's going to be another radiator. And the light switches will be replaced as well. So I'm very pleased with how the paint is looking so far. Even behind me, that colour just looks absolutely gorgeous. The lights look amazing, but obviously they need to have their bits tidied up around the edges. We need the plumber and the electrician to come back to sort out um, the radiators and the lights and everything. It really is hard finding the right people to do these kinds of jobs in London. You'd think because there's so much competition, people would be really good. Um, but aside from the decorator, we've not really found that so far, which is a huge pain. But yeah, I'm optimistic that we can get everything sorted this week. And then next weekend, we can put some furniture together and it will start to look a little bit more like our London home. property a few days later and I'm pleased to say that a lot has been done so we have finally got the radiators in the painter he's been the best throughout this whole process he has finished aside from snagging um, but he's gonna come back in a few days to do that. Charlie and I have been busy bees this morning. We've been pulling up the um, floor protection, which sounds easy, but actually was quite a big job. And now we are putting together some furniture. So we've had a lot of deliveries. This room is actually looking fairly empty right now. A lot of the boxes have already been undone, but I made a really big order on Wayfair. Wayfair has been the best when it comes to everything really actually this radiator is from wayfair even the little valves the bronzy valves are from there um the lights behind me we got those from wayfair as well and the bulb lights you can't really see it that clearly but i'll show you them in the lounge the bed the mattress the bedside tables all from wayfair so that has honestly been a savior when it comes to getting dickens 
It has been my go-to website when it comes to finding furniture that looks really luxurious, but that's not breaking the bank. So I've just undone the bedside tables, as you can see. Charlie and my mom are in the lounge. They're currently putting together some chairs. So I am gonna undo the packaging for the bed frame, and then that's gonna be our next task, putting that together. Don't know what my little dicky is up to, um, but as you can see here, the panelling on the lower half of the wall is completed, and then we've got the lovely pink shade up at the top. I am really, really pleased with how that looks. Looks a little bit brown on camera, but it is actually a beautiful, almost plaster pink. And then I ordered these online. I can't remember the website, but I will leave it linked down below. We wanted this antique brass, brushed brass effect for the switches and then the plugs. I also got the plugs with the USB port. I thought that'd be really handy considering these are the bedside tables. What do you think, Dicky? You're just enjoying the carpet, aren't you? Because you're not allowed upstairs at home and carpets are so nice for scratching backs. So we've got the mattress on the floor, um, the bedside tables, which I undid earlier. They are absolutely beautiful and I think the bed is gonna match those. And then some of the parts for the bed are in the dressing room. Every time I turn around, you're somewhere new, my little boy. <laughs> Obviously not a fashion video, but my outfit of the day my oldest leggings. These are from Sweaty Betty and they're just my go-to at home comfy trousers, trainers, and then this jumper from last year from H&M with the pearls on, which I think is so pretty. Ah, having a rest, are we, darling? <laughs> you match the chair, you blend in. <clears throat> so we've got the light, light installed. Light Your light bulb moment. <laughs> Um, we have got radiator. They're called, um, sorry, in, in the industry they're referred to as rads. 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 Such a plonker. Who put these plugs in? Charlie put the plugs in. With Tom's help. With Tom's Credit help. Tom. Tom was a legend. Kitchen, we've just been cleaning, um, but we are it's hoping we're going to tear it out in the next few weeks or months. Don't know. Lala is busy putting together a pill table and then We've got another of the lovely big bulb lights over here. Another radiator. When I call up, up to say I'm in town, I get an ocean. We both walk the same ground, been traveling all over, such and far and away. For a sign to lead me straight We walk together Down the streets of my home It's been forever A long time that I've been gone The feelings come easy As we start a new day And I know what I should say Just a few days later it is a beautiful sunny day so I thought it was a better opportunity now to show you um, kind of the completed works I think this might be the last time I visit within this vlog because now most of the building stuff is done um, aside from the kitchen and the bathroom which are future projects the next stage will of course be furnishing so I'm gonna flip you around Dexie's come um, and show you the completed decoration works so obviously it's going to be a little while until we get this place properly furnished, but this is the statement panel wall, which I'm just so pleased with. Um, when we were last here, obviously you saw us putting together some of this furniture. 
the contrast between the color of the walls and the ceiling I think is really lovely and I'm just so happy with these lights as I mentioned they were from Wayfair I do have like a little Wayfair shop link where all of my Wayfair um, items can be found so I'll leave that linked down below as well as everything else that we've used but yeah so pleased with the paneling really glad we decided to upgrade the radiators as well because remember the white one at the beginning it just was not the most attractive and then charlie and tom did a great job with the plug sockets i'm so glad we did that as well kitchen as you know is the next project hopefully the fresh white walls looking really good and the skylights roof lights now looking perfectly finished off and then down the corridor new lights new radiators, new light, and the boudoir. I think this room looks so lovely and cozy. Can't wait to get some bedding on here and it'll look like a proper little apartment. I'm really, really pleased with the color combination between the white paneling and the powdered pink um, paint up at the top there. The lights, again, from Wayfair looking brilliant. In fact, every single thing in this room is from Wayfair from the bedside tables, to the bed, to the mattress, to the radiator, to the lights. And then in here, we have got the wardrobe doors painted and the light in here and the radiator in here too. So during our visit today, we are just going to be painting um, a couple of mirrors, which we have bought from the house in Clapham. We're going to put one up in this room, probably on that wall there. We're going to, obviously we've got quite a lot of paint left over, so we're going to use this paint from this part of the wall to just kind of draw in those two areas. I think that'll look really lovely. And then we've got the big mirror, which used to be at the side of mine and Charlie's bed. We are going to use that um, probably in the lounge but we might wait until we get the sofa and a couple more bits of furniture until we actually hammer it into the wall but we're going to spray paint that gold so those are the tasks for this afternoon so i really hope you enjoyed this little decoration and kind of mini renovation vlog the next video that you see here will hopefully be when we've got a little bit more furniture so stay tuned for that but for now darlings Thank you so much for watching. Thumbs up for more interiors and decoration content. There's going to be a lot coming your way very soon. So that is all from me. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.